Rangers flop Michael O'Halloran has been released by Melbourne City only seven months after joining the club. The forward joined the Australian A-League team from Rangers in June. It seems he's been about as successful in the blue of Melbourne victory as he was in the blue of Rangers. His first season in Australia was hampered by a hamstring injury he picked up in October. He's never fully recovered. O'Halloran's move down under didn't go too well. Photo by Jason Heydrich, Icon Sportswire via Getty Images, the 28-year-old has also struggled to settle in Melbourne. But when you look at it from any angle, he only played three times. Whilst an injury might have had an impact, the fact he's a pretty average, football league-level footballer might also have something to do with it. Whilst quick and direct, he has no confidence and struggled with an end product. It boggles my mind how we paid £450,000 for him back in Warburton era. Could we see Michael O'Halloran back in the Scottish Premiership? Michael O'Halloran will probably now interest Scottish Premiership sides, with a return to St. Johnston and Tommy Wright, who's been full of praise for Rangers this year, not out with the realms of possibility. In fact, it was under Wright's stewardship where he earned his Rangers move. Want to have your say? Join our Rangers forum now. O'Halloran was at Rangers for close to 18 months, but made little impact. Photo by Lynn Cameron, Getty Images, the striker come winger outclassed us with probably the greatest performance of his career in a 3-1 Saints League Cup win at Ibrox in 2015. But most Rangers fans won't feel any sympathy for the player. Not only did he not have the ability or show enough effort in the blue shirt of Rangers, he went to see rivals Celtic win the Scottish Cup at the end of the last season. It's a cardinal sin and heel probably never before given by the Rangers' support.